Hey guys, it's Nathan Collins back with another Photoscape X video. This is the full tutorial on how to print things using Photoscape X. Now some people have asked, hey, what about the flexibility and the ability to move things around? Well, uh, first let's get to the, t the print uh, tab in Photoscape X. So I have Photoscape X open. I have Photoscape X Pro, but this is the same for Photoscape X as well, the free version. Going over here to print. Uh, so let's uh, drag this photo in. Um, okay, uh, unfortunately I have it stretched, so it's not really the best. So you got fit or fill or these different things. You could also tile it where you could drop uh, one there, one there, one there, and you're able to print these out. And then, you know, you could um, cut them out however you'd want, or you could set it up like a card or do different things. But some people have looked at it and said, wait a minute, what if I want more flexibility? And over here on your on the right hand side, there's a lot that you're able to do. So you can select your printer. Awesome. You're able to select your paper. So you could say, oh yeah, an envelope or index card or the, all these different things. Um, you're also able to say, do you want it in portrait or do you want it in landscape? So you can have it either direction. Over here, you have things written in millimeters. Uh, so you have that. You also have margins as well. So there's those different things you can do in there. And then you can do things like cell size, um, depending on you know the sizes of things that you want. You can do tile. You can increase the number. So you could say, I want it to be three by three. So there's a total of nine images at the end of the day. So there's definitely some flexibility in here. And you can look at like, oh, the DPI or like the auto rotate. Uh, the cell border, uh, file names, if you wanted file names in here. So there's different things in there, but the real question was uh, f uh, coming from one of my subscribers was how do I set it up where I'm able to move my image wherever I want it to be? First of all, you'll want to go to editor and you want to have nothing opened at the moment. And you'll actually want to first figure out what size of paper you're printing on. Uh, a normal sheet of printer paper is going to be eight and a half by 11. So if we went to the internet, there's a great website, um, uprinting.com, or you guys could just, you know, take a look at this sheet right here. This is in their help uh, resolution page. Uh, but basically what it has here is your print, uh, your printed size, and then your minimum dimensions, and then your image resolution. So What's awesome is that down here you got, all right, so 8.5 to 11 inches uh, by 11 inches is going to be uh, 2,550 by 3,300. That, or 3,300, that's going to be the dimensions you'll actually want to put into uh, Photoscape X to be able to give you a 300 DPI. Um, so uh, is that diagonal uh, digital pixels per inch? something like that all right uh, but basically you go into here you hit new and you'll want to type that in I've already typed it in so the width is 2550 and the height is 3300 and what's nice is they do have presets but unfortunately these presets are more set up for like social media not necessarily for print or things like that so you have that and you could just save um, when you have this printed you could save it just as like template blah 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 whatever but there you go that's going to be the exact size that you're going to want to put your things in then what's awesome is you can just go to insert image and then find the image you're wanting so then you can get that uh let's say photo of marquez brownlee you can adjust it to wherever you want and you guys can mess around with it to see okay i don't want it to get cut off with the borders having those different things in mind but then you know you could put a few things on here put a little picture of myself there uh, we could put maybe a logo of something I just made a video on how Marquez Brownlee is uh, just made his Skillshare course and then what else could we put on there and we could put a YouTube logo here up in the corner all right cool all right so let's say we have all that stuff and you adjusted it now this would never be possible in the print um in the print tab but what you're able to do is as soon as you get it all set you can just hit over here you can save it out and then pull it into print or what i often do is i do copy to clipboard 
uh, that's right clicking on the entire image going down hit uh, copy to clipboard move over to print let's close out of this right click and it says open from clipboard or control V and we hit that and there you go you have the entire thing you can zoom in you can see how it looks see how it's organized and everything like that um, let's see uh, should we print it what do you think guys maybe we should print it over here there you go you guys that's what I'm talking about that is uh, the correct way of doing it. I think I'm just really low out of uh, ink and I had my printer like was waiting to print all sorts of stuff uh, but there you have it uh, that's how you can uh, set up your print setup in uh, Photoscape X hopefully this video was helpful for you guys um, understanding printers can be a challenge even someone who has printed thousands and thousands of documents in the past can still have his moments um, but yeah that's how I would encourage you to do printed things in uh, Photoscape X if you have any other questions or comments in here definitely let me know but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one Bye.